thank you. Well, Valentine's Day, if you can believe it, is just a little more than two weeks away. So this morning, we are dipping into something a little different to help you celebrate. Lifestyle expert Jamie Gottschall is here to show us how to make a fab fondue spread that both your wallet and your special someone will enjoy this holiday. Great to see you. You too. Good morning. This looks so beautiful. I thank feel like you. we should sit down and chat. Well, it's maybe so we nice. will when maybe it's all over. Will. Yeah, to celebrate. <laughs> it sounds great. Uh, so talk to me about how you came up with this idea for Valentine's Day. You know, dining out is so expensive and we're in a recession right now. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to do something that was recession proof, not just for our family, but for all families yeah. across America. So um, even though it looks really fancy, everything was pretty inexpensive. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea did come from the idea of a recession and being able to do something at home rather than out and spending tons of money yeah. on a dinner. Something a little different, Something right? Something a little different. And uh, as far as who this is for, there are a couple ways you can kind of uh, set this up for Valentine's Day, right? Yes. Um, you could set this up for your family. Mm -hmm. um, just as I did here, I just uh, layered some silver trays that I found at places like Marshall's mm -hmm. and, you know, um, local antique stores. But when so I talk cute. about antique stores, I'm not talking about anything expensive. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a tray on the bottom here that's a couple of dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks fancy, but it's very inexpensive and okay. practical. Okay, good. Um, and then the other side is it's great for a romantic evening. You could okay. set something up by the fire, um, but it's chocolate fondue and it's so simple to make. Yeah, so like when your husband or wife comes home from work, just something different and fun. It is, it's a nice surprise. Okay, so you say it's all inexpensive and we're gonna prove it now. Let's let's kind of uh, rip apart our table a little okay, bit, not literally, sure. don't worry. Uh, start <laughs> with the tablecloth. Where did you get this cute, adorable tablecloth? When I came up with the idea, um, I. What I do is I walk around my house and mm -hmm. I look at every single thing that's in my house mm -hmm. and find inspiration There's somewhere. There's a lot of great things. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. But I find inspiration somewhere. This was in my basement. It's a picnic table. It's a picnic tablecloth. A yeah. picnic cloth. Um, and it was, you know, it was in my basement. And I said, ah, oh, that would be the perfect tablecloth for my my setting. Oh, great! And the rest is yeah, history. So okay. you can do anything. You could use any kind of blanket. It doesn't have to be a tablecloth. Mm -hmm. Anything. Okay. Anything yeah. Sometimes people think, oh, I need the linens. I need no, that, but no. you don't. And the other thing is, inexpensively, you can go to some place like Joanne's Craft Store and buy a beautiful piece of fabric for, you know, Valentine's Day with a theme, and um, hot glue your edges, and mm -hmm. nobody. Would ever know. Yeah, great. Okay, what else did you use here? Napkins are beautiful. What did you uh, do? The here? napkins were very simple. Um, basically, I had a plain napkin ring that I hot glued a couple of layers of um, ribbon here. Mm -hmm. um, and then, simply to make it, you know, really interesting, is that I layered them. Rather than one napkin, mm -hmm. I did two napkins, one inside of the other. Oh, that's a good idea, just yeah. to kind of so jazz it up a little it bit. It really jazzes it up. And this is what they do in, you know, professional event planners for weddings okay. and different things. They double up and then they put the napkin ring on or tie a ribbon and voila. Great. Now I'm holding what you have on the back of uh, all the chairs and this looks very expensive. It looks which very I'm sure expensive it's not. Um, and it also looks difficult which neither it is. Um, yeah. It's a simple red glittery, glittery wreath that I bought from uh, Michael's Craft Store. Mm -hmm. They were on sale. Great. Prior to the holiday. Uh -huh. um, I just happened to be walking around and found these little boxes with a lid on it. I stuck it right inside. I didn't even need to use hot glue. Wow, that's my like, kind oh of my craft, gosh, Jamie. It's like the perfect centerpiece. <laughs> yeah. um, and then, you know, I, I glued tails to the back, uh, uh, ribbon tails to the back, and put initials of all of my family members. Oh, and that's great. I also have it for you, Eve. And oh, thanks. Else. Yeah, and, you know, uh, tied a ribbon to the back. Tied a bow in the yeah, front and done. I mean, here. it's so simple. It's it's really. I love those kinds of No crafts. major process to this, even though it looks so beautiful and elegant and something that would be difficult. It's really easy. Great. Now let's talk about the fondue. What if people are saying, "Well, I don't have the money to go out and buy a fondue pot." You don't need it, right? You don't need a fondue pot. You, okay. You either take a fondue pot and put hot water in the bottom, mm -hmm. um, and then once the hot water is warmed up, you put your chocolate on top after you've turned off the burner. Okay. If you leave the burner on. You're going to burn the chocolate. Okay. Um, <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it's very important. The burner has to be off before you put the chocolate on there. Okay. If you don't have a double boiler, which you do not need, all you need is a regular pot and like a silver um, 
mixing bowl, mm -hmm. which Same is really exact all this thing. is, right? Well, this is a Revere bowl that I uh -huh. bought, you know, in in Marshalls. Yeah. But um, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Okay. But you could use that and transfer it right to your table. Great. And as far as what we use to dip, I see you have like some sprinkles and goodies over there for the kids, that's, maybe. Actually, that's the twist to what I do. Oh, okay. Um, you know, I like to do things in layers, so yes. I always have to put the extra layer on to okay. make everything look good. So. So we uh, start here, and so we then we start here, and you know, why don't you? Uh, Go okay. ahead and dip a strawberry okay, all right, into sure. your chocolate fondue, which okay. all this is is you melt your chocolate. Uh-huh. Great. I use a lot, <laughs> as you can see. And just okay, then I come my, around here. My idea is about double dipping. Mine's not this so neat where, as yours looks in your magazine. This is baby. where double dipping is allowed. Okay, um, look at that, so we everybody. have That's um, pretty nice, right? We have sprinkles, we have granola, um, coconut flakes, anything that you can dream of. Just walk around the store and see what you can find. Nice. And I know you did this uh, recently. You have two sons, and what was their uh, what was their thoughts on? Oh, how they had a, they had a blast. Yeah. The only difference is they they stood at the um, they stood at the. Uh, stove themselves, and uh -huh. they really wanted to to be a part of the whole process. So they started oh, the stove, fun. licking the spoons, and you know, doing everything there. And then we transferred it to the table. But we'll be doing it again this Valentine's Day. That's great. And folks can read more about it in this issue that I'm holding. Hopefully, there we go. Uh, Upper Stockton Township and Center Valley Life. There you are on the cover. And uh, folks can get this as well as in this article. You talk about some other great ideas for Valentine's Day. Some of your favorites, right? Well, I just talked about uh, my favorite place to dine this Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Day, which is the savory grill. Mm -hmm. um, great choice. Uh -huh. uh, area. Sean Doyle is a good friend of ours. Yes. He's great. Ours as well. And you can, folks can also get some great tips on your blog, The New York City Lifestylist. For right? everything. Okay. Yes. Talk from... to us about what your blog features for folks. Oh, goodness. My it. blog features entertaining, it features uh, fashion uh, tips, uh -huh. uh, fitness tips. I've gotten into that and soon we'll be doing video. Mm -hmm. um, it covers um, home and garden decorating and ideas. I have fabulous ideas for the holidays. Love it. Um, you name it, it's there. I talk about everything, everything that has to do with lifestyle. Great. Well, thank Thanks for giving us some good ideas. I love uh, this table and this idea. And it's great that everything can be bought right in our own backyard, which is perfect. Actually, if there's one last thing I can mention, if we have Quickly, a second. Yes. Uh, glasses, just simple red glittery bows, and I hot glued those letters uh, that you buy at the oh, craft cute. store right to the bottom of the glass. Okay, great. And again, folks can check out your article or your blog for more information. Jamie, thank, thank you. you. Happy, Valentine's Happy Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Thank, thank you. you. I can't well. wait to try the strawberry, which I'm about to do. Uh, and stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Hi. Stay with us.